Black Stars Diary. Hi, once again, welcome to our direct from Qatar, and uh, we're in a very privileged uh, company of uh, two distinguished sports journalists from Ghana. So four of us, actually, four distinguished gentlemen, that's Sitrupe, uh, Philip Astream, George Addo Jr., and of course, uh, Gary Al Smith, the one and only. I mean, guys, it's good to see you. Good. Where have you been and what's happening in Qatar so far? I think you're in Abu Dhabi. Uh, no, he was in Abu Dhabi. Oh, then I'll start with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, Abu Dhabi was maybe hotter. I, I, think, I think Abu Dhabi was probably warmer than uh, Doha, but a fantastic place. Uh, it was good to be around the Black Stars to see how we're preparing for the game against Switzerland and then to watch the win itself against Switzerland and then to see the team, you know, jet off to Doha. A uh, fantastic experience. It's, it was my first time in Abu Dhabi, yeah, but it's the second time in Doha, long stay, so um, familiar settings. But I think so far, so good. Everything is uh, looking very nice. Tell me about that game, Switzerland. Were they that poor or Ghana that good? I, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like this. I, I, yes, I, I, yes, I like this. I like this because Switzerland are a good side see the players on the pitch they're really really good i think on the day ghana stepped up and there were perhaps too many surprises for switzerland they didn't know what to expect in a number of our players yes they had seen Tariq lamte they had seen mohammed salisu but the, the thing that did a trick for us in the midfield is they didn't know what sali i mean what um salis ahmed samed, uh, samed and uh, elisha wushu were going to bring they didn't know they were going to be that calm that disciplined, you know, so I think that they were surprised. It took them a longer period to adjust to what we were. And I thought that we were very, very good because after the first 45 minutes, I was like, wow, Bani and Samed, we don't have Pate, we don't have Kudus, and these boys are playing so comfortably. Oh yeah. So I wasn't surprised when the, the substitutions were effected and Ghana started playing well. A lot of people want to discredit the boys for what they did. But I think you have to give them credit because playing against Switzerland as a top 15 side, no mean feat. And if you watch the game closing, the first 10 minutes, Switzerland had opportunities. They could have gone up by one or two. So even though it was turbulent, they managed to take and be calm and go according to the coach's um, instructions and play the ball out. I think we did very well. And it is the beginning of something. All right. My only worry is I don't know if we should start expecting the fruits at this World Cup. We have to give ourselves a chance. It's an opportunity. We have to go as hard as we can go. But it looks like the ceiling for this team is really, really high. And if we keep them together, this unit, the nucleus of this unit means we can have a team that probably wins the AFCON in 2024 or goes on to do very, very well. Wow, that sounds very powerful. I mean, and I, I guess that answers that question. I, I wasn't there and I, I wasn't too sure what to make of it, but George has explained it, and if you put it into perspective, I think what it means is that expectations are high, but let's manage it. Yes.